Hi. Now in this next part of the question, we're asked to calculate the area of the shaded region here. And you'll notice that I've updated this with what we found in the previous parts, that the area of the major sector was 32.5094 and so on centimeter squares. And we also found out earlier that the angle alpha here was 2.2195 radians. So if you want to pause the video at this stage to have a go, just give you a moment to do that. Come back when ready and you can check your work solution with mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So all we need to do really is just work out the area of the triangle X, Y, Z. It's very easy because we've got two sides and an included angle, alpha. And you should be familiar with the formula that if you have a triangle and you know two sides, let's say A and B, and the included angle, say C, then the area is given by a half AB sine C. So using this idea, the area of the triangle, let's just put area of triangle XYZ, is going to equal half the product of the two sides, that's 4, times 6, times the sine of the included angle, which is alpha. And I'll put the unrounded version in, 2.2195, and so on, radians, OK? Now, if you make sure your calculator is in radians mode, then you should be able to find that you get 9.562, and so on. And that would be measured in centimetre squares. So when it comes to working out the total area, we've got therefore the total area is going to equal the area of the major sector, which we found out earlier was 32.5094, and so on, plus the area we've just found out for the triangle, which is 9.562, and so on, Add these two values together and you get 42.071 and so on. And we're going to round this up, let's say, to three significant figures. If we do, it's 42.1 centimetre squares to 3SF, three significant figures. Okay?